we're one of the largest Georgia grown retailers on, on the interstate right now, on Interstate 75. And uh, we have a lot of people who come in our store and set up quite frequently doing samples and different things too. So you can come in and try the products before you actually buy it. So a lot of people, a lot of our customers enjoy that. The old time country store is a staple in small towns here in the South. Food and products made locally by members of your community. As our cities grow and stores like this become rarer and rarer, we need to hold tight to the places we still have. Places like Carol's Sausage and Country Store. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. I'm David Zelski, and this is the Fork in the Road podcast, presented by Georgia Grown and the fine folks at Georgia Public Broadcasting. Each episode, we feature stories from Georgia's farmers, fishermen, merchants, artisans, chefs, and others who help provide Georgia-grown products to folks in the Peach State and beyond. Today, we are south of Macon, south of Perry, just past Cordell, right off I-75 in Ashburn, Georgia, not far from the giant peanut. This is where we'll find Hugh Hardy. He's the owner of Carol's Sausage and Country Store. Carol Sausage was established in 1988, and it was a family business then, and it still is a family business even even now today. And uh, I've owned the company for just a little over 20 years, and we're just basically Carol Sausage is an old, old-fashioned, old-timey style butcher shop. You can get your meat custom cut. We make fresh sausage every day, and we smoke and make our own sausage right here in house. Um, Right now we employ close to 50 employees with two locations. We have a store right here on Interstate 75 in Ashburn, Georgia. And then we have a location also in Sylvester, Georgia that we opened there in 2004. The company has, like I said, it's been in business for almost, well, over 30 years now. So it's been around a long time. We've got customers that travel here from as far as Miami. we, We have a lot of customers that come down weekly from Atlanta and just, uh, all over the United States, we have a tremendous shipping business. Our online business is just growing daily, and uh, so we're blessed, real blessed with that. Have you ever wished that there was one place you could find all of the products grown and produced here in Georgia? Well, you won't find them all here at Carol's Sausage and Country Store, but I tell you, you'll find a whole lot of them. One of the things here at Carol's that we do is our Georgia Grown program. Uh, we invite anyone that has Georgia Grown products that's that's looking for retail uh, space to you know come and, and bring some uh, samples to us and let us try let us try it and if it's something that meets our approval and our our standards we would love to, to put those products in our store we, we add to our Georgia grown section you know every week so we we really enjoy helping local uh, Georgia grown vendors and and that's you know something that we've enjoyed doing through the years we're one of the largest Georgia grown retailers on, on the interstate right now, on Interstate 75. We have everything from Goods and Pecans to uh, Bruce's Honeys. We've got um, pecan samples here today with the CEO, Mr. Uh, Drew. Drew Goodson with P- Goodson Pecans. And uh, we have a lot of people who come in our store and set up quite frequently doing samples and different things too. So you can come in and try the products before you actually buy it. So a lot of people, a lot of our customers enjoy that. Seriously, what a fantastic experience. You can walk around this store and meet local producers and sample their wares. This is what community is all about. And Carol's, of course, produces their own products. Something that we are known for is our private label jams and jellies. We have just about a flavor for any anybody, everything from seedless to the seed, with seeds, sugarless, plum jelly, blackberry, raspberry, strawberry, all the things that you know people like. Peach preserves, you name it. We'll see Miss Ginger over here in just a second with uh, her product. She's got some really good stuff. Back to the basics. She always has to correct me on it. Back to the basics. She carries a lot of different pumpkin muffin mixes. What all you got? The sausage ball mix, peach cobbler, full line of stuff. We carry all her products here. You'll catch her on and off here doing samples sometimes. And uh, we carry Abby J's Black Hawk products from up in north. She's up around north, up in North Georgia. Smoking hot. Oh yeah, smoking hot. You probably know her. I was on her original label. 
holding a fish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, good. <laughs> That's my little claim to fame there. Yeah, I might be famous. Nah. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Picture a small country store in your mind. Can you smell the fresh meats? See the wood grain on the ceiling? It is cozy, quaint, and full of deliciousness. One of the things that Carol's Sausage is really known for is our old-fashioned, old-timey butcher shop. You can come in and you can order a steak, have it cut any way you want it, or you can just pick one right out of our meat case. We have seven to ten butchers on duty most all the time, and all of them are professional butchers. They've been doing it. We've got probably a, a combined 50, 60 years of experience in one room back here. But we offer a full line of beef and pork, T-bones, ribeyes, fillets, chuck eyes, sirloins, porterhouse, New York strips. We carry a full line of fresh cut steaks. And they're all cut fresh daily and we can basically cut one any thickness you want. Kind of the way it used to be. That's right, yeah. yep. I like that. In the most wholesome sense, this store does represent the way it used to be. And I've gone far too long without talking about sausage. David, this is what we're really famous for is, of course, Carol's Sausage. Um, we have so many different varieties, probably over 50 different flavors right now. One of my favorites is the medium Valdea onion and cheese sausage, which Valdea onions are grown in Georgia, uh, right up in Valdea. When we uh, entered the flavor of Georgia, I wanted to use a, a Georgia product, which was the Valdea onion. And we won the Flavor of Georgia in 2017 with that product. But we have so many different flavors from uh, jalapeno and cheese, smoked sausage, beef sausage, cheese and syrup, which is one of my wife's favorite, great on the grill or even just kind of pan fried in the oven. All, everything is made right here in house, hand mixed. Uh, we use our own blend of seasonings and spices. Of course, this is our pork section. Uh, we carry a fresh baby backs, fresh St. Louis ribs, fresh pork chops. Everything's cut fresh right here daily. Sausage stuffed pork chops, that's one of our things that we're famous for. Mm. We've got uh, mild, medium, jalapeno and cheese. Uh, we have a mild onion and cheese uh, stuffed into a boneless pork chop and then we wrap that with uh, some of our apple with bacon, which is really, really good. I know I keep saying small country store, but then Hugh is going on and on and on about the products. Well, that's because while Carol's Sausage and Country Store does resemble the small old country general stores of the past, it is much, much bigger. This place is massive. <laughs> Tell me about the size of it and how it's grown through the years. Our whole store right now, we're, we're occupying close to 25,000 square feet. We have about a 6,000 square foot warehouse on one end, and then our store sits in the center. And then we have about a 4,000 square foot restaurant on the other end. Then we are actually expanding. We're in the middle of expansion right now. We're adding on another uh, couple thousand square feet for just our sausage production and processing area, and uh, which help, hopefully is gonna help us expand into some other markets as well. It is pretty big. And Hugh even has a specific recommendation for you when you make your trip to Carol's. So yeah, we, we do recommend that you bring, bring an ice chest or some coolers with you. We do offer uh, gel packs as well as cooler bags. A lot of people just buy a cooler bag in-house, but I do recommend a cooler. Uh, we have ice and you know, we'll, we, uh, we're glad to pack, you, pack any of your products up for travel. Bring a cooler and stock up your fridge or your deep freeze. Or maybe get all you need for your trip down to the beach. Or maybe you just want to set up camp and eat all of this delicious food as soon as possible. You can do that too. People want to come stock up on meat and stay the night. You have an option right next door. Oh yeah, that's exactly right. We have an RV park right next door and it's a, it's a pull through. We offer full hookups. Anything from 50 amp, 30 amp, the regular 110 hookups, and also uh, each site has its own uh, uh, sewer hookup, so it's fully self-contained. We have 20 sites right now available, and I'd say get here early if you want to get a good spot because they fill up, usually fill up every night, so. Honestly, it really is a convenient stopping point. And think about it, you're helping the community. 
how important has this store been to you and this uh, this whole community for years? Oh, it's, David, it's been great. We've been able to, like I said earlier, we've employed we employ around 50 employees, and uh, you know their families. Just giving their it's giving the employees and their families an opportunity to, to be a part of something that's a family owned family business. And uh, the community, we've been able to do a lot of different things for the community as well, participating in a lot of community events, and and uh, it's just been a been a great been a great blessing for for everybody who's been a part of it. We have a lot of our vendors uh, who are, who who the, the Georgia grown vendors who come and set up different days during the week, and they'll bring their products in. So it's nice that you can taste before you buy, and a lot of people really like that. People, and, they, you know, they they go through making past the Georgia National Fair, and then they got to be looking for carols. How can they find you? Yep, just come on down to exit 82, and it's right here at the Ashburn exit. To go west, take the first road to the left, and we'll be right there on the left. Our store in Ashburn sits right on the interstate. It faces 75, and then the uh, store in Sylvester is right off of Highway 82 in downtown Sylvester. You can't miss it right at the second red light right in the middle of town. Yes, the Old Country Store is alive and well in both Ashburn and Sylvester. For more stories like this one, you can watch A Fork in the Road on GPB TV or anytime on the gpb.org website. That's where you'll also be able to listen to and subscribe to this podcast or download it on your favorite podcast platform. I'm David Zelski. Thanks for listening to A Fork in the Road.